Fleming drive it forward, Gareth Ewer again signals the uh, last tackle, Morell with the kick inside, Johnson's chasing it and the bounce could be awkward, well it is awkward, it's come off the bar and former witness favourite Shane Grady has touched down for Halifax under the black dot well I think Gareth you were checking for the offside there Gareth Hicks he's today's video referee but oh, Gareth you were indicating no try may not be the most experienced player on this uh, with side making his debut but it's uh, one of those unknown quantities that you have to contend with he's probably been going to be led around by Liam Finn and Liam Finn's got the pass away and the first try is going to come to the witness Vikings but, uh, Super League club's a different proposition from the men in blue and white another short charge to the line from Chris Houston and Gubb as he got the ball gets the ball out drops it onto the floor Widnes still have options out wide do they can Halifax move across well they managed to get to Inu and Inu has shown immense strength to force his way over the line for Widnes second try well Halifax just had no answer then to the power of the New Zealand centre So the way it's gone far, the likes of Liam Featherstone will be interested to see what kind of teams they're able to put out for uh, next season. After failing to make the top four, Halifax have options out wide. Johnson goes on his own. Perhaps a wrong option that. There was a four against three. Far side. Morell turns it back inside to Woodburn Hall, and Woodburn Hall crashes over from the inside pass from Morell. Well, it's taken a long time in coming. It's nearly got to the end of the first half, but Halifax have finally created the opportunity and posted the first four points of the afternoon. Courtesy of Woodburn Hall's well timed run to the inside pass of Scott Morell. Shane Grady in the absence of Steve Tyra. Well, it's <laughs> not the most, most efficient of kicks the ball spiral end over end sideways but it does go over and Halifax right back in this game approaching half time and Jacob Fairbank to be replaced by Dan Fleming as Salt and Salt comes in again for another run but loses possession to Liam Finn A quick movement outside to Runciman and Halifax putting themselves under pressure all the time for uh, cool heads but Halifax running out of options and they may be running out of them here as Patrick Arvan is left free on the left hand side Gareth Hewer goes over the top of Will Sharp but it's another Halifax mistake which allows Widnes in Widnes that 10 point lead back He's giving it a good shot and this time you know, has managed to put the ball over Francis coming and Dennis Betts this season Got some of them players coming in after the departure of uh, Dennis Betts, Chris Houston. <laughs> Put down, last tackle. <laughs> Liam Finn goes to the outside, back inside Inu. We'll get in at the corner with an acrobatic dive. <laughs> Another one that's found the mark from Christian Inu Halifax looking like they might get into double figures then with Woodburn Hall to break the call from the forward pass from the witness supporters Brandon Moore goes to the witness line Halifax supporters on the feet away to the back of those posts that Halifax are attacking Morell to Johnson, Johnson out to Heaton Heaton to Saltonstall, Saltonstall gets in at the corner Finally, some reward for fluent rugby from Halifax as Salt and Sol gets in. Well, the game really over as a competition, but Halifax not uh, 
playing it that way as they move the ball across the field. Salt and Saw managing to get in at the corner. It's not a bad effort from Morell, it's gone over. Liam Finn. Well, we not get caught with the ball that often, Liam Finn, but has done once or twice this afternoon. Sam Wilde for Witness. Brought down six metres away. Well, Halifax unable to catch Mellor. And the kick through into the corner is for Patrick Arvan. Halifax with nobody on the outside. Chris and Inu will look for another conversion. It's kick three. So far this afternoon. 